Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for joining us here on Times Now. I am Kina Gambhir. Uh, slowly as the uh, COVID case count on a daily basis has started coming down, several states and union territories will also start the unlocking phase very soon. In fact, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal today announced that from Monday onwards, slowly and gradually, the unlocking phase is going to begin. Over the next 30 minutes, we are going to discuss the economic impact of the kind of lockdown that most parts of the country were into some are still under lockdown and uh, how it is really going to impact uh, various sectors how it has impacted and what is it that the government can really do to help it come back on its feet when the unlocking process begins in fact corona literally in the second wave has brought india to its knees the economic recovery that started uh, showing results uh, we saw some good macro data as well in january february all of that got derailed because of this sudden spike in COVID cases uh, in the second wave. In fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi as well a couple of days ago mentioned that economic impact is huge of this pandemic and the world, of course, is not going to be the same place uh, even when the virus starts going away. And it has taken away jobs and it has impacted demand too. So is is, the, is this the time to come out with a second COVID budget? That's the question that we are asking uh, today on Times Now. Mohan Das Pai, Chairman, RN Capital Partners, is joining us on the broadcast. We also have with us Sanjay Agarwal, President, PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Good afternoon to both of you, gentlemen. Mohan Das Pai, let me begin this discussion with you. Uh, you know, uh, the number of uh, COVID cases daily that we are seeing is much lower after a high of about 4.14 lakh that we we saw on 6th of May. Do you think this is the time for the government to think about plan for another COVID budget to help the industry severely impacted get back on their feet? Well, I think so. We must remember that India's economy was taking off in the month of March. March, we had the highest ever sales, which led to GST of 1.41 lakh crores in April. And April, May, of course, have been pretty bad. So I think when an impact comes out of COVID, it's beginning to do so now. We need to have a stimulus program to boost consumption. I think the focus of the program has to be different from what was last time. The last time was on survival, the bottom of the pyramid, etc. This time has to be on the feel-good factor to keep people's morale up and to boost consumption. There are a few things they can do. For example, auto has 42% share in manufacturing. Why can't they waive the compensation set on all auto sales for the next three months? It will cost 5,000 rupees, 5,000 crores a month, 15,000 crores. Increased sales could recover two, 3,000 crores, maybe 10,000 crores. They have to take a hit. Anyway, government of India will compensate the state. Second, real estate. Mumbai showed last year that when real estate recession rates were cut from 6% to 3% for six months, sales went up by 60,000 crores. Now, why can't they say that for the next six months, real estate recession rate will come down by 3% all across India, half of which will be borne by the center and half by the states. If you assume 2 lakh crores sales in real estate housing for the next six months, government of India will have to bear 3,000 crores. Then maybe a special program for public transportation, 50,000 electric vehicles, give them 15 lakh seats to all the states to buy. And then they also need to do something for smaller towns, tier 2, tier 3 towns, which are hit. The bigger towns and bigger cities have got economic activity, consumption, they'll bounce back. Why not a budget of, let's say, 10 crores for each of the 2,000 census towns to get them back to act? Healthcare has to be seen. A massive building program for 500 tertiary bed hospitals in 500 districts all across the primary health centers can be, can be done. And then they must also give some relief to the taxpaying class. Now, I think for the middle class, which has been hit because of large expenditure, why didn't you elongate the tax, uh, income tax slab? Zero to five, no tax, five to 10, 10%, 10 to 15, 20%, 15 and about 30% and no deductions. And there to uh, make sure that unlisted companies get primary investment because large amount of investment in the MSMEs, unlisted companies, reduce the capital gains tax on sale of shares in unlisted companies from 20% of, and 38% surcharge to maybe let us say 10% and 10.5% surcharge like for uh, listed companies. And why don't you increase the deduction for ATG to 25% of gross total income so that people who are given money benefit. And then some smaller things can be done. 
but what i would say is we did a very good uh, program to boost consumption to bring back growth and revive up that can create employment all across the indus in, in india hospitality yeah, the, the airplane sector flying sector and some of the service sector retail which have been hurt they deserve some special consideration and that emergency loan program for msmes has right. to be extended for time i think all this has to be done All right. Well, that's a long list, a long wish list. In fact, Mr. Mohandas Pai, that you shared with us, uh, it you know actually appeared as if we are looking forward to a proper budget that happens on first of February. We don't know whether uh, you know so many demands are going to be met or not. But what you've raised, the concerns, the options that you've talked about, are all extremely important. And all these you know sectors, uh, uh, you know this uh, people in the society really need help at this point in. time some kind of a booster from the government side uh, mr sanjay agarwal your opening comments do you think now with case count coming down things looking slightly stable perhaps it's a time to start considering a stimulus to help everyone get back on its feet yeah i uh, i definitely think that uh, we need a very strong stimulus and a much stronger stimulus than what was made available last year in any case the the trouble that the economy has faced is definitely going to be bigger this year compared to what we faced last year last year we had uh, two months of difficulty april and may which was more or less a total lockdown but thereafter the economy started reviving uh, reviving in quite a fast manner and in any case there was a very strong demand from the semi urban and rural uh, segments this year the tier 2 tier 3 uh, towns and even the uh, rural areas are now uh, affected by the covid second wave and that has affected uh, the economy in many complex ways which include uh, uh, of course mr bondas bhai has extensively talked about uh, reviving the demand and for which the sentiment also needs to be improved and i all i agree with almost all the suggestions that he has just now made but we also need to keep keep in mind several more factors for example the uh, uh, the sort of difficulties that an enterprise especially an msme that is being faced today let us list out what the issues and then we can understand what are the solutions the issues are number one there is a uh, there has been restrictions due to which there has been a total disruption in the business model and there have been disruption in supply chains due to which companies businesses have incurred heavy losses on top of that when they try to produce uh, they look uh, to their to their labor for producing or manufacturing or being present in the business enterprise there we see a, a huge amount of absenteeism or people have uh, migrated back to their villages fearing even worse uh, uh, wave than uh, last year so they have gone back to their villages so there is a shortage of labor on top of that practically even the demand is missing because there is the total sentiment has been affected very badly and uh, uh, demand of course needs to be revived so on top of that again the commodity prices for almost every commodity that goes into manufacturing has uh, risen 50 to 100% in the last 6 to 8 months whether it be steel whether it be plastics copper aluminum wood paper anything anything that goes into production has gone up by 50 to 100% and there again we need to take some very strong proactive steps uh, which i'll come to in a moment then uh, after all this uh, the difficulty is uh, on working capital if uh, if there is a, uh, number one there are losses number two the commodities have gone up the working capital needed is much higher and we need a eclgs as mr pai also mentioned that eclgs of 3 lakh crore last year needs to be immediately doubled to ensure that the small industry gets it and at the same time ensure that the taps that took a lot of time uh, getting into full flow last year should be opened much more expeditiously otherwise the industry is going to be hit very badly 6 lakh crore is the minimum they should take it up to secondly the repayment schedules and the interest rates they have to be looked into very carefully if you are going right. to demand repayments Uh, in a fast pace again the same uh, enterprise to whom which you are giving more support is going to be in a problem so customs duties 
when a raw material price when steel copper something has gone up by 40 50% what is the rationale behind giving these large units which are showing bumper profits in the stock market are are rising and rising only on the strength hmm. of these primary producers why should we have customs duties at least till the such time as the the price increases more than uh, 50% of previous years level so customs duties should immediately be removed in any right. case imports are not happening but these people these primary producers are exporting at the expense of indian downstream sector and etc so these are the other things that need to be taken care of including the repayment schedules hmm All right, uh, Mr. Mohan Das Pai and uh, Mr. Sanjay Agarwal, appreciate both of you for joining us and sharing with our viewers uh, the things that the government can really consider at this point in time uh, to help the economy. Because now, uh, uh, with the impact of second wave of COVID that we've seen, the growth projections have also uh, started uh, seeing a downgrade. Uh, thank you very much for the moment, both of you, for joining us. Heading into a short break right now. More news and updates on the other side. Stay with us.